The hooded man is one of the oldest paradoxes in philosophy. It's one of Eubulides' originals, and it asks us to look at a situation where we seem to both know and not know the same thing at the same time. And it also asks us to consider whether our knowledge of something is a property of that thing such that a thing that I know is very different from a thing that I don't know. So here's the situation. We've got a hooded man. So I put this hooded man in front of you and I'm like, do you know this man? And you're like, no, he's wearing a hood. But then I'm like, ah, he's your father. Right? I pull the hood off his head and it turns out it was your father all along. Uh, so, therefore, you know and don't know who the hooded man is at the same time. You know that you know your father but you don't know that the hooded man is your father, so you don't know who the hooded man is. At the same time, you know who your father is, but they are the same person. So, so I know and I don't know at the same time who the hooded man is because I don't know who the hooded man is, he's wearing a hood, but it turns out he's my father and I know who that is. So, I know and I don't know the hooded man at the same time. So, the hooded man and your father, before the hood is pulled off, uh, would seem to have completely different properties such that they would not seem to be the same person. So the paradox points to a difference between the world as I conceive it to be, because in the world, I know that the man who has a hood on, who turns out to be my father, uh, they're the same person, right? In the world, the hooded man is my father. You took the hood off, you saw it, and it's a guy, it turns out, you knew him all along. It's your dad. Hi, Dad. But in the realm of knowledge, right, in our epistemological realm, the hooded man and your father are very different things. So here's your friendly father, and then there's this ominous hooded figure whose face you can't see who may or may not mean you harm, I don't know. All we know is that he has a reason to hide his face. So when I think about my father and when I think about the ominous hooded man, I have two very different concepts. I have a concept of father and a concept of the hooded figure and they are very much not the same. But I all the while make the assumption that in reality they are the same person, right? When I find out that you put a hood on my father and tried to trick me. So one of the problems we're pointing to is the fact that it is possible to think about one and the same thing in very different ways where according to my metaphysics, there's only one thing in the universe, and yet my knowledge of it seems to point to two things. So consider the case as I do of Marilyn Monroe, right? Marilyn Monroe is a big movie star. She's in all sorts of pictures. You might be able to list a few of them. You might have seen them. And then I describe to you this other person, Norma Jean Mortensen, who was a factory worker during the Second World War. Are these the same people? I have two very different concepts of them, but it's not until we point out that, oh yeah, Marilyn Monroe is the stage name for Norma Jean Mortensen that you start to put these two very different concepts together, right? And it seems that there is some kind of legitimate difference in that case between Marilyn Monroe, the stage presence, and Norma Jean Mortensen, the real girl, such that 
I may not even be able to put these concepts together and claim that they refer to the exact same thing because my knowledge of these two things is so very separate that I might even think that it points to a difference in the way these things are, right? And then I might say that Norma Jean Mortensen is a person, whereas Marilyn Monroe is a character, and try to explain it away that way. Uh, but they are, in fact, if I look at, you know, the self same material entity living in the world, they're the same person, in theory. Now the question becomes whether a difference in my knowledge of something can make a legitimate difference in that thing itself. So there are some properties of things such that I believe that if two things have different properties, then they are different things. And I give the example of a book. Say that my book is blue and I look at your desk and I notice that you have a book and I wonder if it's my book, but that book is not blue. So if my book is blue and your book is not blue, then they are different books. And if you allow my knowledge of something to have the same kind of differentiating function, then it seems that my knowledge of something versus my lack of knowledge would make the things I'm talking about two different things. So say instead of using blue here, blue is a property of books. Is my knowledge also a property of the thing I'm talking about? Which recalls our original situation. I know my father. I do not know the hooded man. Therefore, they are different people. The logic seems to work the same way if we allow for the idea that my knowledge of something is a property of that thing itself. But we still have this idea that, oh, when you take off the hood and reveal that it's my father, then I should believe that I was simply mistaken, that perhaps it's true that I do know the hooded man and have known him all along. 